So you welcome back to a double header today. Apparently it's a double header. This is Sports News. I'm your host Kyle Alexander. And um again, another unplanned video. So I was sitting here edit or I was just sitting down editing my uh Canyon Drake to the Cardinals video. And I was editing that and then putting that on you and then about to upload that on YouTube. When all of a sudden my son, my phone says Leonard Williams got trade gets traded. So I was like, well, time to do two videos today. And then before while before I started recording this, I saw it said the Eagles are looking at Darius Slay. It said the Eagles are going to take a shot at Darius Slay, but the asking price is but the bidding price is very, very high. So if he if he gets traded today, I'm just gonna save that for tomorrow because apparently I looked up online. The trade deadline is tomorrow. And I know ESPN does a whole special for that. So I might just do a video where I react to all the trades. But uh, today we're going to be looking at one trade like we did in the last video that went up a couple hours ago, a couple minutes ago, actually. But uh, yeah, the New York Jets have traded pass rusher Leonard Williams to the other New York team, the New York Giants, for uh, what was it, a 2023rd rounder and a 2021 fifth. Uh, yeah, I will put the trade. I will put the trade up right here. So the Jets have traded their pass rusher who has, has been rumored to be on the trade block. But I thought it was like, oh, the Jets went and trade them. But the Giants get a pass rush out, which they desperately need. They need defense desperately. And this was a big boost. And also I said the Giants are looking forward to, are trying to look to ship uh, who's Janoris Jenkins, um, their lineman, Nate Solder. And it was somebody else. Uh, I can't remember. It was somebody else. But uh, those are those were the main two that I saw. I can't remember. Dang, I really can't remember the uh, other person. But basically, Giants are looking to do some trades and uh, help rebuild that team. Now, again, I feel like the Jets maybe could have gotten a second, but a third, actually, a third isn't that bad for Leonard Williams. Uh, because I'll put his stats up right here. But Leonard Williams uh, hasn't gotten off to a great start. Yeah. Zero sacks. But um, he has a couple QB hits and like 20, uh, I don't remember the exact number, 20-something tackles. But he is a good pass rusher. He's gotten a, a good amount of sacks uh, his, all his other years in the league. So this definitely helps the Giants out, especially with, uh, what was it, Dexter? We have a Dexter Lawrence. I get him and Christian Wilkins mixed up. But him and Dexter Lawrence and Dalvin Thomason on that defensive front. So I hope the Giants out the Jets, who are doing poorly, get a third round and a future fifth. So the third round is actually a great value pick. You can the uh, third round is where you can usually still find players. So, um, yeah, I feel like it was kind of a it was a good trade both ways. Uh, it helps out the uh, poor poorly depleted Giants defense, while the Jets also get some good value in return where they can potentially get another pass rusher. Or something else to help them out. Yeah, that was a quick one. So that is it for this episode. Uh, hopefully, my Eagles get Darius big play slay. I've been a big fan of him because it's funny because I had his. I I remember I went back when I was younger. I used to collect football cards, and I got Darius Slay's rookie card, and that's when I was like, oh, because I know like rookie cards are uh are usually their value goes up when the player plays. And I'm like, Darius Slay starting uh, I start seeing him starting to ball. So I was like, all right, I like Darius Slay now. But uh, hopefully my Eagles can get him. Uh, actually, I don't know, because now then the salary cap might not be that great. Or I don't know, we'll, it'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, that is it for this episode. And if any other trades happen, it's waiting for tomorrow, because that's the trade deadline. So that way it's no sneak attacks or anything. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Likes help us out. And... Yeah, I already told you about my next uh, planned episodes, which is either the reaction to Bronny and Zaire or um, what was my, I forgot another video I was going to react to, but yeah, that's probably, so I guess I'll be right reacting to that, but that's it for this episode, uh, I will talk to you guys next time.